hi guys so welcome back to another video in today's video we have day four of the seven day foundation series and this is the foundation that's discontinued from sephora so if we like it then i'm gonna need you to rush out and go get it so you gotta stay tuned to see how it wore throughout the day and if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me as well as the bell notification button so you're notified every time i post new videos because i post daily and why would you want to miss it and i'm out of here peace out Bye guys. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we have another foundation review. We're on day number four. If you're new to this channel, I'm doing right now a seven days foundation series where I review and do a wear test on seven new to me, probably old to you uh, foundations. So let's jump right into it. Today's foundation, it came in the mail yesterday and I'm like, let me hurry up and review it because it's discontinued at Sephora. So if I like it, if you guys like it, then you have a chance of picking it up. I uh, had a sample or something. I don't know what I had. Yeah, I had a sample of the concealer from Sephora. You know how you order and you get two free samples or whatever. So I had a sample and I fell in love with the concealer. So I'm like, dog, the foundation should be just as nice. And I'm talking about the Rose Ink Soft Light Skin Smoothing Liquid Foundation. And I have it in the shade 26N. The regular price for this is $54, but right now it's on sale at Sephora for $27. I think Sephora is getting rid of this brand. They're no longer going to carry this brand. This comes in 31 shades. It's non-comagetic, good for acne and blemishes, good for redness, good for the uneven skin texture, hydrating, and it's clean and plant aware. So let's see some of the specs about it. A clean, medium coverage foundation that's smoothing, weightless, buildable, has a natural finish, and is ideal for acne-prone skin. So this will be really good if you have sensitive skin, you break out easily. You know, this doesn't have a lot of harsh ingredients in it. Medium coverage, natural finish, liquid formula, adaptive, adaptive, adaptive skin balancing complex visibly reduces redness pores excess oil good for acne prone skin fermented reishi mushrooms supports the mushroom supports the moisture barrier for plumper smoother looking skin so let's go ahead and try it out I have already primed my face for this series. We've been using the same two primers, the blurs, NYX Blur and Secure the Blur by One Size. So those are the two primers that we've been using for the last seven days. How many ounces is this? This is one fluid ounce. The bottle is cute and different. It's a recyclable bottle. Let's pop it out. Let's see. It's kind of thick, but not really. So that's how the shade is looking. I'm going to pump it on the back of my hand today. I just took three pumps. So let's see what we got here. We'll do one side first. No smell. And turn this way so y'all can see. And 26N is, let me tell y'all, just in case, is deep with the neutral undertones. You all know I could do neutral, olive, or golden when choosing foundations. It just depends on how neutral, how deep. But yeah, for the most part, I could do any three of those. But never red. 
I want to try a peach undertone for whatever reason. I was, it was some foundation I was looking at yesterday and they had a peach undertone. I want to try that. So I'm just pressing it in. Not swiping so much, trying not to. The coverage is beautiful. This looks very skin-like. Y'all know that's my number one thing to look like skin. So foundation side, no foundation side. The pumps don't come out big or maybe I'm not pushing down all the way. So let me show y'all what my three pumps look like. I'm not pushing down all the way on the thing. When first applying it, it looks kind of light, but I see that it warms up to my skin. It's warming up to my skin tone, but first application, it looks kind of light. I usually kind of take whatever's left on my brush, not necessarily put more when doing my forehead. Try not to get it in my little hair. I can see this being good for someone who loves to put their foundation and stuff on with their fingers. It will be, I feel like it will be way easier if you were to use your fingers because it takes a minute to dry down. And you know, the brush is wet with product, so it's just like, it's gonna take a minute. Like this side is dry now, but this is still wet. So then I'm gonna take my little sponge. I don't know where my other sponges are. And make sure because this is one I feel like you really need to blend good to make sure you don't have any streaks and whatnot. Right here on the screen, I'll show you the benefits of it right quick. And also the shades or something. I'll show y'all something right here. So you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm going to take one more pump that much and do around my mouth area. I don't want to focus. It's like, no, no. Give me. On the sponge. I feel like it set really well. This is. Uh, I knew I was going to like this when I said I love, love the concealer. I knew something about this foundation I was going to love. So let's go ahead. Uh oh, trying to put the top on it. Let's go ahead and do our. Well, it's not even the top. This for our primer. That's why it won't fit. Oh, sorry. I was like, oh, I'll just do a foundation series. <laughs> and then once I committed to it, it was like, oh, no, you committed to it now. You got seven days. So I film in the morning. And then when I get off work, while I'm cooking dinner, I'll go ahead and edit the video. <laughs> I was like, no, no. <laughs> girl, you are dedicated, girl. You are dedicated to this, okay? So... I do think that I want to take my RCMA No Color Powder today to set this. I, do I feel like it'll move? No. Matter of fact, no. I'm going to take some of my MAC Transparent Finishing Powder. Sorry, something on the container. I know I'm always pumping foundation on my container because I don't know where my RCMA is. Do I feel like it's going to move? No. I'll probably try it again. Of course, I'm going to try it again another day without setting it. But today, I want to set this. I don't know why. You just, when you get into your makeup, 
you're like, some days you want to do stuff, some days you don't want to do stuff. And right now, I want to do stuff. <laughs> the wall around where I didn't put the Sasha Buttercup. My nose. So <laughs> I didn't wear makeup for like probably like four days. I didn't have on any makeup. Like I, you know, just put on my moisturizer and whatnot. And my nose was so shiny. <laughs> like the rest of my face was okay, but my nose is almost like it was so shiny. Like I could rub my nose and like oil would be on it. I'm like, well, it don't act like that. And when I have on makeup. But it was so shiny. It didn't bother me. I just looked like, because it's so hot here, you know, you just look like your nose is misting. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and throw on my lashes lipstick. Y'all know the drill. Then I'll be back so we can see the completed look. But so far, so good. I'm going to dust this away and then go ahead and spray. That way when I come back, I don't have to spray. Okay, so just spray with my thing thing. And I'm mainly focusing on the places where heavy powder is, which is underneath my eye, like my T-zone area. Because I want to even out the cakiness because powder can cause your face to look cakey. And I always just want to look natural, like the makeup look natural. So that's why I did that. And I'll be back because I'm talking a whole lot. All right, guys, I'm back. And this is the completed look with the Rose Ink Foundation. And I'm liking it. <laughs> In my head, I knew I would for whatever reason. When I tried that concealer, I was like, their foundation got to be good. So we're going to wear this throughout the workday. Then I'll come back and show you all how it looks. But as of right now, I need to blend some of my eyeshadow though. But as of right now, I love it. Because it looks so skin-like, I'm into the natural foundation that looks lightweight but offers a little bit more coverage you know what I mean not just like a skin tint that that really doesn't offer a lot of coverage you know a real lightweight foundation light to medium coverage but they can give me this the skin like natural look like you got on makeup but you don't really know people don't really know you have on makeup that's the look I usually go for so yeah, where to start today? I'll be back. Peace out. Gotta go. Bye bye. Okay, guys, we are back, and this is a little over ten hours worth of wear today. And this is how the skin and everything is looking. As you can see, by this point, y'all know the areas I'm going to get shiny in, which is my T zone. Uh, no blotting or anything throughout the day. I feel like it looks natural. I was absolutely in love with this foundation. Every time I would look in the mirror, I'm like, okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. So let's go ahead and blot finally. And it was like 93, 94 degrees today. So let's see if blotting helps or makes it return back to normal. You know, we got the natural light. We got the window open. But well, we got some natural light going on right here on my eyebrows. <laughs> my eyebrows just, they just want to be ollie. I don't know why. It felt, it felt really good. I didn't feel like, when I was applying the foundation, it kind of put me in the mind similar to that, uh, Laura Mercier that you know I love the way it looks but I don't like the way it feel it started to when I was initially applying it but it's not as bad as the Laura Mercier like I can deal with it it doesn't feel as oily and as slick but that's what it reminds me of so let's blot some more and see what we come up with here and see if we get back to square one 10 hours worth of wear. The color, spot on. I love the fact that it is a clean, vegan formula. Nana. 
it's time to go to bed. <laughs> I love that it's a clean vegan formula. So I would, I suggest you get it. That's what I need to start including in my videos. Yes, it's $27. If you prefer natural medium coverage uh, foundation, this will be perfect. I suggest you get it now because once it's gone from Sephora, it is gone. So yeah, am I satisfied with this? Very satisfied with this. I feel even though... Like I'm always looking right here and it's a difference for me for when I have like some creasing in my smile lines and it looks not good because the foundation has settled and like creasing where the foundation hasn't settled. So I don't mind creasing where the foundation hasn't settled. That doesn't bother me. It only bothers me if it creases and the foundation cracks up, breaks up and all of that. That's when it bothers me, but this doesn't bother me. So let me go because I look like the sun trying to go out and I'm out of here. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and peace out. Stay tuned for tomorrow, day five. We're almost there. Bye guys.